Welcome back to another video. We are on Big Brother Season 26 episode, I think this is 23. For some reason it feels like I haven't done a video, a Big Brother video on like forever, but I did do one last week. Maybe it's because I posted like two vlogs in between, but I don't even know if that was, that, that might have been before. I don't know, I'm getting sidetracked. But this episode starts off with the fallout of the nomination ceremony. So Quinn nominated Angela. Rubina and Chemo. <laughs> I was like drawing a blank for a minute, but yes, he nominated those three. Rubina was pretty understanding, not gonna lie. She was just kind of like, yeah, Tucker, blah, 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 yeah. And Chemo was kind of just like, I thought I was allies with Quinn, and if I was HRH, I would not put my ally on a block. That is very reasonable, <laughs> Chemo, I will say. And I really don't want Chemo to leave out, if I'm honest. Like, he hasn't done much, but I, I do kind of like Chemo outside this house. Angela cries because in Quinn's speech, he mentioned that she, you know, all the names, all the things that she said about him. And that'll come up in a bit later. Chelsea's happy with everyone except Angela. She doesn't want Angela on the block. She wants Tiqua on the block, which I, I like this. <laughs> and, like, they're really painting Chelsea as the best player in this house, and she is. She is the best player in this house. And I kind of am starting to want her to win because, like, Every episode, I feel like my opinion, my favorite, like somewhere in the ranking, it changes. And Chelsea definitely rose in this episode, I will say. So she says she wanted T-Core to be on the block, which is funny for a lot of us live feed watchers because T-Core is in love with Chelsea, or obsessed with Chelsea, right? Like she's obsessed with her. But Chelsea is not as into T-Core as T-Core is into her. So it was nice to see Chelsea tell us how she really felt. Like she really wanted T-Core on the block. She didn't necessarily want her to go, but she wanted her on the block. At least to scare her. So we see the scene with Quinn, Chelsea, and Cam, which is the final three of the Pentagon. The Pentagon, which has become a triangle, right? So the triangle talk, and Quinn just voices that he wants to not stay the same. And Angela is his target. We see this scene with t -Core. She's pretty upset about Chemo being on the block. She voiced that, that she didn't understand why Chemo was on the block. She's very upset with Quinn if Y'all pay attention to the live feeds. And by the way, like I say if y'all pay attention to the live feeds, I actually have not watched the feeds, any clip at all in the past week. Maybe that's why it feels like it's been a while since I've been on camera, since I've reviewed the show. Because I've watched or I've listened to like reviews or recaps, spoiler recaps of like the live feeds, live feed updates and spoilers. I've watched those, but I haven't actually seen it. So it was kind of, at cer certain points in this episode, it was kind of cool to hear these conversations that I've actually heard someone else say. And now I'm hearing the people say, if y'all know what I'm trying to say. We see the scene with Joseph and Leah, and Joseph just trying to be, you know, flirty with Leah. He gets friend zoned. I really like this edit because it came up again later with Quinn. And I wish that they would have done this a while ago with Cam. Like a few episodes ago when Cam really liked Leah or was into Leah. So then it would be like everyone's in love with Leah and just friend zone, friend zone, friend zone. When she said she was a chubby chaser, she meant it. And that's why Big Brother made a mistake by not casting me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Angela and Quinn have their one-on-one. -on -one, and this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier. Angela immediately apologizes. She says, I'm not into name calling this. She's crying. And Quinn's like, no, I didn't really. That wasn't serious. I just did that for the show. You know, just it, it made good television, you know. He didn't really say that. He said he just did it to be funny. But Angela, Angela says she usually doesn't name call. And then they showed this montage of her saying <laughs> crazy eyes and you twit and like all this stuff. It was just, it was funny. Like she's been after, she's had so many in me. Like I honestly think Angela is insane personally. Like, I really do. And uh, shout out to Cody Califuri. I watched his reviews and recaps, and he said that he would have voted Angela out, like, really soon, like, in the first, second, third week, because he could not live with her. I could see that. I could see myself not being able to live with her, because she's insane. She's so crazy. Then we see my favorite scene out of all 23 episodes of this season. This is probably my favorite scene in, like, the past five seasons. Chelsea and Joseph talk, and Joseph brings up Tucker. They're, and Joseph talks about what Tucker went wrong, where Tucker went wrong. And then he says, like, he was the mastermind behind Tucker. And he talks about his game, and he puts himself over. That's what we say in the wrestling community when you talk good about yourself. That's what Tucker was doing. And Chelsea's just listening to him and just 
We see her DRs and how she actually feels about this conversation. Like, Joseph was insane. He was talking about how him and Chelsea are playing a good, a, a similar game. He talked about how Chelsea has a great game. And I'm just like, why would you say, how did you think this was smart? I don't know what he was doing at this, like, to this point, or I guess up until this week, I thought Joseph was a good player, but then this week he's just proven to not be one. And Chelsea was just in the DR trashing him, saying, I've won an HOA. She was like stating her resume. She was putting herself over too. But she could back it up. Joseph couldn't. He could only just say things. You know, like, I feel like if Joseph was this great player, great mastermind, he would have got Tucker not to leave last week. <laughs> like, that probably would. If he would have did that, then he might have been on the same level as Chelsea. But Chelsea's done so much. She's bounced back. The Pentagon was, was like, blown up. And the so-called leader, Brooklyn, went home. And Chelsea should have followed, but she didn't. And she's really on no one's radar right now. Chelsea's doing amazing. And... She's definitely not, you can't compare her game to Joseph well, when she puts it out there. When she reads it, you can't compare it. Joseph Dan just kept burying like himself even deeper by bringing up like Dr. Will. And he says he wish he could just go this whole season without winning a single comp. And he also mentioned that he thought he could have beat Tucker and then he wanted to go to the final two with him. And Chelsea's just like rolling her eyes at this whole thing, like in her DR, just like, this guy is delusional. We see this scene with Angela and Leah and I feel like this was just to show that they're friends because we really hasn't, we haven't got that in these past couple episodes. So it's like a, it's like a expedite, this is their relationship. So like we know, so like it'll make sense later. So you guys know that they're close. We saw this confession or DR with Angela and how she says she loves Leah and all this. And it's cool that they have a good relationship. We see the veto player pick. And, of course, we have the HOH plan, who's Quinn. Then we have the three nominees, Angela, Rubina, Chemo. And then I think Angela got the first pick. Like, Angela's name came out. And she actually picked Joseph. So Joseph's playing yet again. Uh, and she said she didn't pick... Leah, because she wanted to hide their relationship, and also Joseph is easy to beat. And then also, Leah just got picked. Uh, I really like this veto, I'm not gonna lie. But before we get to it, actually, Quinn hypes Joseph up, saying, like, we're the big dogs. We're the big dogs in this competition. We gotta win if it's physical. And I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> like, hearing Quinn, and you get a picture of Quinn and Joseph, and they're like, we're the big dogs. <laughs> like, in what world? In what world are y'all the big dogs? I would say Angela's the big dog. <laughs> Out of these six. Angela and Leah talk. Angela explains why she didn't pick Leah, but Leah's probably happy. Actually, she was happy. And we see T Core trying to motivate Kimo and Rubina. This was nice. I love their. I am still a fan of them. I love their friendship. And if I was in the house, that would be my alliance. If I'm honest, that would 100% be my alliance. So in this video, I think it's called like bots to take down the government. I mean the curtains. <laughs> so they have to build this robot to take down the government. I mean the, oh my God. If this video gets demonetized, I'm just saying. But no, they have to build this robot. They look at the screen of this robot and it's built with all these different things. Then they crawl. And I don't think this video was in the backyard, by the way. That song about Big Brother is it's supposed to be like everything's inside their house and then their challenges are out in the backyard. But this one did not seem like it was in the backyard. It seemed like this was on location or inside of a secret room or something. So they look at a robot on the screen and then they crawl into this little thing that reminded me kind of a doghouse because of how they had to crawl inside. But it's a little box. It was a little bit, it was roomy enough. They had to rebuild the robot that they saw on the screen. It was about, I think it was 11 pieces. And I don't know if the competitors knew this, but the house guests in the house, the ones that weren't competing, like Chelsea, Cam, Mackenzie, they actually got to watch this on the monitors. And they got to watch everyone's individual uh, box. And that was uh, funny. Like it was, it was cool to see their reactions. But we didn't get to see their reactions when they saw who won. So I was kind of disappointed with that. Now, the robot wasn't super simple to build because they had decoy pieces that were very similar to the pieces you actually needed. My camera's about to die, so I gotta hurry up with this. So, Quinn throws one of the, his leg pieces to the side of the room, which was very reminiscent of when, what's his name, Jeff, in season 12 or 11? Season 11 
threw his uh, clown shoe out when he was searching for that veto. And then he, you just never have the correct answer, so you can never win. And that's how Quinn was. And they were all just watching and like, oh, poor Quinn. And kind of, like Quinn just kept buzzing in and just kept being wrong, 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 wrong. And then Leah actually, like, like Rubina buzzed in a few times. Like a, a couple people buzzed in. But Leah actually buzzed in one time and she had it right and she won the veto competition. So congratulations to Leah. It was kind of like, <laughs> I got to admit, she was like, yay. Like, it seemed kind of fake. I'm not going to lie. A lot of things about, like, I don't know. I'm not going to say it. But then they went to the house. Even, like, when, like, she won, and she was like, yay. Everyone kind of seemed, like, really lackluster with the yay that she won. Then they go into the house, and it was still kind of like a quiet yay that she won. But I really liked this competition. I thought it was cool. So this is where I was talking about how, like, I didn't watch any of the, um, I didn't watch any of the feeds, like videos so far this week, but I have watched recaps and I've heard people tell this story. So Leah's feeling herself, first of all, that she won the veto and she already is contemplating taking Angela down. Quinn realizes that and then like they go into the HOH room together, they celebrate a little bit and then he's like, hey, like Leah's like, so what do you think? And Quinn gives this long speech of, well, I think you're really pretty and then like a bunch like of what he said. You look really good in orange, like all that. I've heard different YouTubers say that speech. And now I got to hear Quinn say it. And that wasn't even all of it from what I heard other people say. He's definitely simping hard for Leah, but so is Joseph. And Cam used to be, remember? But now Cam is on the McKenzie. But that's another story. I wonder where they show that. So then we had to see some clips of Joseph being a a-hole because that's what got him on the block. They didn't show enough, I feel like, because there was so much more that they could have shown with this. But basically, Angela tried to campaign to Joseph, and Joseph just told the truth and let Angela have it. I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of funny. He's like, I'm surprised you're still here. He's like, if I don't, if you don't win AI, I don't really see you making it to next week. Like, I don't really see, I don't know. Like, it was, he was just so dogged on her, count her out. Like I said, not gonna lie, it was kind of funny. Like, and I feel like I can laugh at, like, Angela for that because she's been so mean to certain people in this house. Like, even Tucker, she was mean to, in my opinion, because Angela's insane, like I always say. Quinn tried to convince Leah not to use the veto, and he says that he begged her. I was on my knees, I begged. Boy, you were on your knees begging because you wanted to put your face against her stomach and your arms around her waist. That's why you were begging. Let's be honest here. But... In the end, Leah did use the veto. She used it on Angela. Angela came down. Quinn was upset. Quinn nominated Joseph. He said it was because now the three people that voted to keep Tucker are all on the block. Like, he was not playing. He put them all up there. And I have to say, uh, I always bring this up. In my first two episodes, Rubina was my favorite. I wanted her to win. She was my favorite. I actually want Rubina to be the one to leave. Because I actually feel like t Core has a better shot with chemo there. Personally, I do. And I really like T Core. I like T Core more than I like Rubina. I might like Rubina more than T Core more than Chemo, but if, in my head I just feel like T Core's best shot is if chemo still there. So I kinda want chemo to stay. So I'm thinking I want chemo to win the what's it called? AI arena. So that it's Joseph and Rubina on the block. Sorry, my thing is really about to die. And I really want uh, Rubina to be the one to get evicted. Because I feel like Joseph's kind of a cool character too. After he got nominated, Joseph said like, uh, he was upset. He said like, Quinn, this guy just told me that he wants to go to the end with me. He wants me to do very well. And then he puts me on the block. Angela burns Joe. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie, cause she pretty much just repeated what Joe said to her. She's like, "Look, I don't see you being in the house next week." Cause Joe flat out told Angela she would not make it to next week, and now Angela's guaranteed to make it to next week, and Joe's on the block. So like, funny. Uh, but that's it for this episode, guys. I gotta get out of here because my camera is about to die. I will see y'all next week. Be sure to leave this video a like. Or I will see y'all tomorrow, actually. I will see y'all tomorrow. Who do y'all want to leave? Let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to leave this video a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all forms of social media. And until next time, catch you later.